A rope is pulling horizontally to the right on a box of weight 54 newtons, which is sliding across the floor at a constant speed. The coefficient of kinetic friction between the floor and the box is 0 0.678. What is the magnitude and direction of the normal force from the floor acting on the box? So first, let's make a free body diagram of this problem to understand it better. So this is the box. We have the force of the rope that is being pulled, so that is the tension. So let's write force of the tension, which is going towards the right. And so we know that since there is a force to the right, there is there is an equal force to the left, because it says constant speed. There is an equal force of friction that is opposite the force of the tension, so force of friction. And then there's the force of gravity acting on the box, which is the weight of the box, 54 newtons, so force of gravity. And then the normal force, which always opposes the force of gravity, so normal force. So this is the free body diagram, and now let's look back at the question. What is the magnitude and direction of the normal force? from the floor acting on the box. So we already know the direction, it's up of the normal force. And to find the magnitude, we can use F net is equal to MA. So F net is the sum of all forces acting on a box in a specific direction. So let's use F net in the Y direction so that will be the y-axis, uh, the normal force plus the force of gravity, force due to gravity, sorry, must equal the mass times the acceleration. The mass of the box is the weight divided by 9.8, so 54 divided by 9.8 is equal to... 5.51 so 5.51 and then the acceleration it says here constant speed so when velocity is constant acceleration is always zero so the acceleration here will be zero so we know that F the normal force plus the force due to gravity is that times that which is zero and the force due to gravity is the weight of the box which they told us is 54 newtons and it's acting downwards so the normal force minus 54 is equal to zero. So we can add 54 over to the other side and get the normal force to equal 54 newtons. And that is in the upwards direction. The next part of the question asks for the magnitude and direction of the frictional force acting on the box. So if we remember the box again, the frictional force is to the left. It's opposite of the tension in the rope, the force that's being applied. So the frictional force, we have a formula here, force of friction, force due to friction, is equal to the coefficient of kinetic friction times the normal force. So in the problem they told us that the coefficient of kinetic friction is 0 0.678 and the normal force we found in the last problem to equal 54 newtons. So all we have to do is multiply these two and we get the force of friction to equal 36.61 newtons and the direction is to the left. What is the magnitude of the tension in the rope which is pulling the box? So now we have to find the tension. Okay, So the tension is equal to the frictional force because the, um, the whole system is in equilibrium. There is a constant velocity and there's no acceleration. There's zero acceleration. So force of the tension is actually equal to the force due to friction 
they are equal in magnitude but opposite in, in direction so the force due to friction is 36.61 newtons so that is what the the tension in the rope is but it is towards the right instead of the left <laughs>